Honda used to build dream machines like these ones. The S2000 Prelude and its almighty Japanese majesty, the NSX, are all looking down from that great big dream car graveyard in the sky, possibly at this machine, the Accord Coupe V6. It's a modest looker in some ways, and it's a coupe built from the guts of a family sedan. But that aside, it's the most powerful car in Honda's lineup, one of the most instantly recognizable, and one that stands as the brand's current top dog performance model. And unlike the Prelude, and more so unlike the S2000 and NSX, the Accord Coupe is practical, easy to drive, everyday friendly. You can put your friends or kids or pets in the back seat, and without much difficulty, thanks to the big door opening and generous rear space. There are cup holders and a big center storage bin. And just look at the size of this trunk, you can play tennis in here. You might say it's nearly a family ready sport coupe. And as a sport coupe should, it's got styling and character and equipment that supports a sort of personal and passionate driving experience. Though it's based on the popular four-door Accord, this coupe is lower, tighter, shorter, and in this case, comes with a six-speed stick you won't find with the V6 engine in the sedan. Translation, this isn't just a four-door with two doors cut off. And since it builds on the strengths of the latest generation Accord, you get things like this great new interior. The last Accord coupe I drove looked like this inside, 50 shades of crispy gray plastic that could put you to sleep. Sleep. The new one, well, there's some passion, some contrast, and detailing apparent. It looks more upscale, less boring, and more like a sports car should. It's set off with some slick features too, including this dual tier display system, which eliminates plenty of button clutter, auto climate control, and automatic lights, which self activate these slick looking LED projectors when it gets dark. There's also Honda's Lane Watch system, which uses this camera on the right side mirror to show you this image of the area beside your car whenever you hit this button or signal. Cool. And all of the other Honda Accord stuff is in place here too. This machine is safe, should be reliable for many years, and even turns in pretty good gas mileage despite going like stink. It's plenty quiet on the highway and overall easy to drive. But Accord Coupe isn't what it appears, though it's the Honda of sports coupes. Efficient, sensible, smart, and practical, it's also got a delightfully evil split personality. Honda Accord's typically a car known for its sensibility, maybe more than its fun factor, but this one is an absolute riot, and the powertrain is a key part of the reason why. Under the hood, a Honda staple, 3.5 liter VTEC V6, 278 horsepower. It's eager, it's smooth, and it sounds glorious. And maybe the best thing about it is that it's attached to this brilliant six-speed manual transmission, fairly short, precise, and creamy smooth shift action. The throttle response and clutch for heel and toe shifting are about as intuitive as it gets, but the best thing about this gearbox is how it's synchronized. It's actually the easiest to get this thing to shift smoothly when you're in a rush, kind of hammering on the gears. That, combined with the fact that as Honda engines typically do, this VTEC engine works best when it's spinning fast, meaning you've got a powertrain that, well, is the most comfortable when you're driving the living bejesus out of it. And if you're driving like a bit of a hooligan, you'll also find handling and steering that are eager and playful, fairly light but precise enough to encourage you to explore the limits a little. The brakes are similar, they bite hard and fast and are easy to modulate. So everyone, here's an Accord that's ready to drop your kids off at school and then hit up some weekend lapping if you like. And unlike in the last Accord Coupe, this one feels, well, authentically sporty. It's more responsive, more eager to react. It feels lighter, tighter and more nimble, just more fun when you drive it hard. The last Accord Coupe was fast and grippy, but this one actually feels honed to be more entertaining. And despite all of that, I took it for a 10 hour road trip one day and felt comfortable, relaxed and surrounded by plenty of space the entire time. It's very well done and the sensible, super sporty split personality will likely never get old. Really not many cars in this price range anyways come together this nicely, naturally and capably at the tips of your fingers and toes where it counts when you drive them with some fire in your pants. But as it has for several years, Accord Coupe does have one serious problem. This is the Genesis Coupe. Like the Accord, it's a two-door performance model. It's Korean, not Japanese, and it's rear-wheel drive, not front-wheel like the Accord. It's also more substantial looking, a little more money, a lot more powerful, and has things like Brembo brakes for track day. If you're test driving one of these machines, be sure to test drive them both. The Genesis Coupe is a bit more on the sporty side, looks like more of a big deal, and probably makes a better choice for someone after maximum all-out firepower, visually and performance-wise for the money. The Accord Coupe isn't as quick, but certainly won't leave anyone wanting for more jam. Its gearbox is notably more refined than the one in the Genesis. It's better on fuel and works better as a long-distance machine. You might say the Genesis is a bit more of a hot rod than the more refined and calculated Accord. 
Other notes, there's an Econ mode selectable if you're willing to give up some throttle response to save fuel. The Howling V6 fires up at the touch of a button thanks to push button start. And even though it's front wheel drive with heaps of power, Torque Steer never presents itself as much more than a slight squirm in the steering wheel from time to time when you hammer down. So let's sum up Honda's snarling VTEC powered split personality sports car. You'll probably like the practicality, easy to use rear seats, big trunk all around space, great new cabin look and the super slick lane watch camera gizmo. And more so, the way this machine blends easy to drive character and comfort with extremely entertaining performance, a great gearbox and sharp responsive handling when you push it. It's also great on fuel relative to its performance. What's missing? Well, I still figure the Accord Coupe looks a little too tame relative to its capabilities, and the gearbox, though great when pushed hard, may take some getting used to for smooth shifts when driven gently. All said, for its effortlessness, between switching from big, comfy, sensible touring coupe and howling, high-revving VTEC-equipped plaything, I'm calling this one a sports coupe priority test drive. Price is worth 35 dollars with V6 power. Thanks for watching.